The Craft Kitchens has registered dietitians who continually develop healthy living recipes with your health in mind. A few twists make sweet potato shepherd's pie a nutritious meal. For the topping, instead of the traditional russet potatoes, I'm using sweet potatoes that I've cooked in the microwave, but cooked cauliflower also works well. These sweet potatoes mash up great, and they're an excellent source of vitamin A. Once they're all mashed, stir in some Philadelphia chive and onion light cream cheese spread or Philadelphia urban garlic light cream cheese product instead of butter for extra flavor and creaminess. For the filling, brown some extra lean ground beef, mushrooms, and green onion in your favorite Kraft Light vinaigrette or Kraft Calorie Wise salad dressing. The dressing takes the place of oil and flavors the meat and veggies. When the meat was browned, I drained it. To thicken the mixture without adding any additional fat, mix together some flour and water and add it to the pan. Stir this constantly to make sure that it's evenly distributed while it thickens. About two minutes. The filling is done after stirring in some frozen green beans. There's no need to thaw them because we're going to be baking this later. This recipe is made for two, so I'm using these two cup ramekins which I've sprayed with cooking spray instead of a pie pan or casserole dish. It's a lot easier to determine individual portions so there won't be much left over and it speeds up cooking time quite a bit. I've divided the filling, now I'm spreading the tops with the sweet potato mixture. These bake in a preheated 375 degree oven for about 15 minutes or until it's heated through and the tops are lightly browned. This low fat, low calorie meal provides an excellent source of vitamin A and can fit into any meal plan with two carb choices. For more information and great recipes for people who care about diabetes, visit our Diabetes Center at goodeatinggoodliving.com.